in terms of security and maintainability is the recommendation and the good practice to always update your Kubernetes worker nodes. But some of those updates requires rebooting the virtual machines. Of course, you don't want to you reboot your VMs suddenly at any time. For that, QRD or the Kubernetes Reboot Daemon will help you to schedule your Kubernetes worker nodes reboots. So let's see how to do that. So let's first uh, start with installing QRD into the AKS cluster. For that, I'll be using Helm repositories. So first, I'll add the Helm repository into my machine. For that, I'll use Helm repo add with this uh, uh, repo from GitHub. This will uh, download this repo into my local machine. Then here I'll go to install QRT using the helm upgrade command right here. So I'll install it into a namespace called QRD. I'll make sure that namespace will be created if it's not already created. And then I'll act on the Linux virtual machines because uh, QRD works with uh, Linux. And then I set some configuration for the scheduling. So first config here is the start and the end date. This means restarting the virtual machines will be allowed on from within this time range. We can also specify the days in which to do the uh, reboot for the machine. So here we have the configuration called reboot days, where you can say uh, this should reboot for all the days starting from Monday until fr Friday. So no reboot during the uh, Sunday or Saturday where the uh, engineers are not ready to uh, troubleshoot if anything bad happens uh, due to that uh, uh, reboot. Then we can set here a period and a period means that um, QRD will check each minute if it needs to reboot the VMs. You can change this of course. Uh, typically it's uh, checking each one hour or even more but for this demo I'll uh, check for the reboot each one minute. Let's run this to install QRD into AKS. And once installed here, now we can go to check for the pods created by Q, Q, QRD. So Q control get pods from the namespace called QRD. And here we find two pods created because that will create actually a daemon set. And this means in each virtual machine, I would have a pod running in that virtual machine to check if that VM should be restarted or not. Now I'll go to run the same command get pods, but with dash o wide in order to get more, more rich information about those two pods. And here I'll pick the pod that is running on the VM that have O1. That's the VM actually that um, uh, is on the ready status. So I'll pick that first uh, pod, call it cure it. Let's go to clear this and then I go to check for the logs coming from that uh, uh, pod within the namespace QRD. Note here on the logs that will display the configuration that we have uh, specified for checking for the uh, reboot that's through the file called reboot required. This is the secret for this. So Linux in each time detects that it should re reboot the VM. It will go to create this uh, uh, file called reboot required and that will uh, notify Q uh, QRD will use it to understand that the VM should be restarted. So that check will be done each one minute. And then we have the other configuration that we have set for checking uh, the time range and the days and so on. And for now, it tells me that reboot is not required at the moment because we maybe we don't have any updates that requires uh, restarting the VM. It's the demo, so let's go to make uh, an update that requires restarting the VM. For that, I'll here I'll go to my uh, Azure uh, Cloud Shell. And here I have already SSH into a pod in my Kubernetes cluster. This pod have SSH enabled and uh, you can find all of those instructions actually if you go to this Azure documentation that will show you how to SSH into uh, AKS. 
Once I'm connected to that pod, from now I can go to connect to the uh, virtual machine from that pod. So here from within uh, uh, my pod, I'll go to connect to the virtual machine using SSH. So here I have put the uh, IP address of my virtual machine. And now I'm inside, I'm within the uh, VM. That's my VM001. I'll go to update to run updates onto that VM through using the sudo apt get upgrade and update. And hopefully, if we are lucky enough, this should create an, uh, an update that requires restarting. So we can check. I'll go to ls the files inside var slash run. And to here, we should look for reboot required file. We don't have any. This means those uh, updates doesn't require a VM restart. So I'll force the VM restart by creating the file myself. The file itself doesn't need to have any data. It's just the presence of the file that trigger the um, restart. So for that, I'll be using a command to achieve that purpose. So into here, I'll use sudo touch and I'll create that file with the name reboot required. Let's check that file was created successfully. And from here, yeah, I can see my file. Now let's go back to the command uh, line into here and I'll go to uh, view the logs again from uh, QRD. And at the same time, I'll go to split my command window right here and I'll go to uh, cube control get uh, uh, nodes dash w in order to see to watch for scheduling the pods. And here, as you see, the node number one now enters the scheduling uh, disabled status. And when we try to get the logs from uh, uh, that uh, QRD pod inside that uh, virtual machine, here error from server because maybe now our VM is already uh, restarting. So it is not able to get uh, uh, API requests. Great, so that was how to schedule virtual machines restarting in a Kubernetes cluster using QRD.